Hiya, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw and if you're new here then welcome. It's lovely to meet you. And if you're already existing then hello. hello. <laughs> so we're in the mirror today guys. And um, as you know, if you do watch my videos, I can't edit. Um, so what I'm gonna be doing is, is showing you in the mirror this way and then I'm gonna take you into the kitchen to show you a little tour because I've decided to paint my kitchen and I've also painted the really ugly UPVC dot and I'm going to show you the primer that I use and actually it's doing a little treat. The kids have been bashing into it, the dog's been scratching up here and it's really doing well actually and it's really lovely and wipeable and it allows you to paint whatever colour you want on your door as well. So this is for outside and indoors. It's called the Tricky um, Tricky Surfaces Primer, so I'm going to be going on a few things indoors actually, painting some really ugly things I didn't know I could paint. Um, so grab yourselves a hot drink and some snacks and we're going to get into the video. I'm going to turn around and we're going to start walking into the kitchen. I am a little bit disappointed because I did have a few things coming. Um, so this wall here looks a little bit empty, I will show you in a minute, but I've got from a place called Yester Home, I've got two scaffold board shelves coming um, with beautiful ornate brackets. And the reason why I ended up doing that rather than buying them myself was, is I really wanted these brackets and it worked out £4 more dearer, like cost an extra £4 to actually have the shelves with it than it would have done. So I just thought it's cheaper than buying the wood myself, sometimes it's better to not DIY. Um, so as we come into the kitchen, you'll see all the layout and stuff, nothing's really changed. Let me put the light on so it's a little bit brighter. Um, so nothing's really changed apart from the wall colour at first, but the, the most drastic things tend to be the doors and the woodwork. So as we come in, the colour I used to have on the wall was a really lovely colour called Selenia Hook um, by Valspar b &Q. It's currently the colour that's on my walls in my dining room, which I really, really loved. But because my kitchen has got like the two small windows right at the back, and then we've also got a utility room here, um, it just locks a lot of the light out and I just felt like it needed really, really brightening up. And I also thought all the accessories would look a lot more brighter and pop better if it was white. And um, so what we've done is we're going to the kitchen. The color that we've used on the walls is just Pure Brilliant White by Dulux. And we've got this in a mid sheen and it's scrubbable. So we didn't get the kitchen paint. Um, but to be completely honest, it's not really an issue. It's really, really lovely, like really lovely and you can wipe it. And um, so one of the loveliest changes in here is the door. I'm absolutely loving this little pop of pink. I think it looks so nice with the grey floor and the white cupboards. And this is the sort of thing that really is going to stand out now. The, the walls are painted white. Um, so this door, I originally painted it in a mix of two flower and ball paints. One was Middleton pink and the other one was pink ground. Um, and it was just too chalky. Once I'd finished painting everything else in the kitchen, it looked really powdery. So I felt like it really needed, I've got all like rough hands in the background. Sorry guys, I've been doing DIY. Um, so I needed to paint this in a bit of a sheen. So in B&Q, they have a mixing service. So you can have any color mixed up to what you like. Um, and I had a tester pot mixed up in um, mid sheen in the pink ground by Far and Ball, but it hasn't really come out the color of the pink ground. It's come out more like Nancy's blushes by Far and Ball, but it looks really, really beautiful and I really, really love it. And um, with all like the little cuff kits and aprons hanging up, I just think it looks really, really sweet. So as we come round, you'll start to notice what I wanted to do was, is I had the darker walls and then the white wooden trim and white door. I found that a real nuisance because Bertie being so little, like little pup, he'd sort of like move up against the skirting. You'd always get like a thick layer of dust on it and you would really notice it because it was um, white. Sorry, let me let Bertie in. Come on then. Um, so I've done this in Farrow and Ball Bone. Um, so this, yet again, is a mixed up colour by Valspar. This is the V700 paint, um, and this is for the wood and metal. Um, and I just think it really pops out. It's not gonna look really dusty and, you know, dirty and grimy. And it just looks really nice with the grey floor as well. And I just think everything else seems to pop out quite nice and brightly. There's lots of shadows being created in here by this dresser and stuff. It's making the walls look really patchy. I think that is the camera. No, it definitely is the camera, because it doesn't look like that. Um, also, we have decided once everything goes back to normal um, after the isolation, we're going to have shutters put in here. So we've got shutters throughout the rest of the house. And I just think white shutters would look really, really beautiful, make it look really classy in here and finish it off. Um, so it just makes everything really pop. I've got my beautiful flowers that a lovely friend that I've made on Instagram and YouTube, Sophie. Um, she's just popped these round to me at the door, just some belated birthday flowers, which are just so lovely. 
And I've also got on the windowsill, my sister bought me like a little white company world rhubarb candle. I'm losing my words now, guys. <laughs> um, I don't know if I showed you this because this used to have my cap kits and stuff on it. And I've done it on my Instagram, which I will link below, which is Rosie Henshaw Home. But I've had a little change up and decided to put all my nice Emma Bridgewater bits on there instead. Oh, actually, I've done the um, kitchen organised, which you would have seen. Now, moving on to the door. So, it's really weird lighting in here. I'm, I do apologise. I hope it's coming through what it is. It looks a little bit random <laughs> in this lighting. I Maybe I need to invest in a proper camera. Um, but as you can see, it's the same colour as what the trim and the skirting is here. So it is this color here. And it just looks so much nicer. It was a, it had gone really, really yellow. I hadn't realized how yellow it had gone until I painted the walls white. Um, and it was, oh, let me open it up. It was just like this. It had like the black trim on it. We had a few like scuffs and holes in it. And we'd already paid to have the handles changed on them because they were like really old fashioned. But it just really didn't go with the flow of the kitchen. Probably would have done if it wasn't so grubby. But I washed it down with some sugar soap. Sorry. I just took the washing machine and I was loving it with my big bum. <laughs> Let's pause it again. Um, so what I've done is I washed this down with sugar soap. Dried it down with some paper towel. Give it a light sand in any areas that sort of like were a bit lumpy or bumpy. The people that had painted in here before had got quite a lot of paint splats on it. And to be completely honest, you didn't really notice until you looked up close, but I wanted it to come out really, really perfect. Give it a little sand, any little holes that were in the door, filled them with just some full, uh, filler, sanded them down, and then I applied this. So this is the Dulux um, primer that I'm talking about. It's called For Difficult Surfaces. And it says it's touch dry in under two hours. It's super grip on MDF, tiles, and UPVC. So this is perfect if you want to paint tiles or anything like that and you can't find a colour that you like because this you can use this primer and then use whatever paint you want on top. So then what I've done is, is I left it on. I did have to leave the door open for up to two hours because obviously I've done the framework as well. And if you shut it, it's just going to like stick together and when you pull it, it's all going to rip. So I had to leave the door open. So I do recommend if you're going to do this, do it on a nice warm day when you can leave the door open throughout the day, really let it dry properly. And I had to do that again when I done it with the green and the green needed two coats. Um, so this is the green paint. This is what was actually on um, in my dining room, on the panel that we done. So this is the wooden metal paint, V700. And this is in the color Bone. They're Rick Cromarty on the front, but that isn't that. I had a mix up, I had a small little tester pot and the guy that mixed them up done them wrong, like the opposite way round. So I think on my Instagram I said it was Cromarty, which I'll, I have gone on and corrected, um, like in stories, but I will go onto the post and correct that because in case anyone goes and buys that, it is actually the colour bone. Um, so, and this is Cromarty actually, this is the colour Cromarty, so it's a little bit darker. Um, but this is the colour that's in my dining room on the um, panelling. So it just looks really lovely, I've had two coats, it just looks really pretty. From Dunelm, I've ordered like a little linen Roman blind to go on here. And I'm going to order some lovely pink and like blue and green pom-pom trim. And I'm just going to put some pom-pom trim on that. I will show you on there how I do that on my channel when it gets delivered. So I'm waiting on that. I've got a new lovely bread bin. It's like a sage green wicker that will go across there instead of that bread bin there. And my mother-in-law wants that one because she's just done all like this sort of sage green in her kitchen. So she's having that. So nothing's going to waste. And I've got a nice long one going there. Um, reason being is, I can't even fit a full loaf in there. I can only fit a loaf in there once I've at least taken two slices out, which is not ideal because we have like a family sized loaf and then we also have like bagels and stuff that we like putting in there. So that would just look really pretty. Gary also went and got um, my Fortnum Mason basket out the loft. So this is the one that's just a little bit more handy to have up here because this is the Huntsman picnic camper and it's just much easier, more access. So I can put some like adult treats in there like you know the kids when they have it in the other basket they tend to just go and go and go and go crisp and chocolate crisp and chocolate all day long and so when it's just put up there and I don't put it all in the other basket it just limits it a little bit so they're not just you know pigging out on so much in one day also I've got this little barn side I did have this over here above but like I said there's going to be two really beautiful um white white ornate metal brackets with two lovely like oak coloured scaffold boards and these little stars, I actually got these off eBay. They were black um, and silver gunmetal, which I've just painted them with some tester pots. So, oh, so 
flat tester pots called Stony Ground by Farrell Wool, and that's Rust Oleum Dusky Pink. Um, and they're gonna go on the shelves once it's done with some little plants and some cookbooks. It will look really, really pretty, so it's looking a bit empty. But that star has gone there in its place, and it just looks a bit dark in that corner. It doesn't actually look that dark in this real life. It's I like, definitely need to invest in a better camera. So what I've done is I had a little tester pot called Pinoir by Farrow and Bolt, and I mixed that together with the Rust Oleum Dusty Pink and tried to get the closest match I could to sort of like this picture that I got gifted kindly by um, Desenio, like that sort of pink. And it does look like that pink, but it's just so dark in this corner, you just can't really notice it. So, and also I've done all of like the skirtings here and it just looks really, really cute. It's much cleaner. I've noticed the dishwasher, this area here, the skirt, you know, used to literally have to wipe down about four or five times a day because you would always get like drops from when you put things in the dishwasher. And not that I shouldn't clean it as much, I probably should. I'm not needing to because where it's like a darker colour, it's not showing up. Um, so as we come over here, also I forgot to mention, I did actually paint that windowsill in the same colour and I was going to do all the windowsills. But I thought, you know what, I'm going to leave it a bit country mix match. And I'm going to leave the other two that I made because I made these with um, pallet wood, made my own window seals, and I just thought it looks quite nice over there. But that one over there, it kept going a really orange colour. Like the sun that comes through there is so intense, it was just bleaching it and making it look really horrible. So I thought once I paint it in that colour, I've got the nice sage green bread bin. It will look really lovely. I'm thinking we're going to get a nice little picture or chalkboard here, sort of fill that little space. And obviously, all these windows are going to have shutters on them so they'll look really nice and these little bowls here they're probably going to go on the scaffold shelves out there and bless gary he knew that i wanted to paint the kitchen and have brighter pops and um, so him and him and the children got me a new pink roberts radio for the kitchen which i'm absolutely loving he obviously got me the cream one i think it was about two christmases ago so that's gone back in my lounge because i love having a cup of tea listening to the radio at the minute i'm listening to heart 90s <laughs> <laughs> have a 90s child um, and I've got some lovely little sweet Williams flowers on the go nice little hand creams in the basket <laughs> I actually said Gary's um, cousin has got me like some Emma Bridgewater like hand wash and cream I was like they're literally never going to get used they're just going to sit in a basket for show I do use them but I just think like everything's really popping out a lot better with the colours and it all started with the pink door <laughs> so I done the pink door and it just it just really looked weird it looked darker it didn't pop out so I will give you a little update the shutters obviously aren't going to be getting done until after the lockdown's done but I will show you the little white blind that we're going to have there with some little bright pom-pom bits on it and um, oh oh I've also got a doormat coming guys a little doormat with a little heart on it it's really cute so when they come I'll show you and I can't wait to get these shelves up I've wanted them kind of rustic shelves that everyone has on sort of Instagram and Pinterest for absolutely ages and I found a really lovely place and they're really reasonably priced. Um, so I was looking online and basically they had like the, um, sorry, the brackets, I'm going to come out and talk to you. They had the brackets and they were really quite expensive, the brackets, but this place done them for really a reasonable price. And then it only worked about four pound dearer to buy the complete shelf. And um, so I've not got the really deep shelves. I've got the ones um, a 15 centimeters deep, but it's just enough to have like little plant pots on, some nice little stacking bowls and like salt and pepper and stuff just look really, really cute. And um, so I'm gonna do that in the kitchen. So I'll show you when they come. And I'll, when, that, when I show you when they come, so obviously oh, there's no point linking it because you might not even like them. Once they come, I'll link them with the bread bean and things like that. But it's really nice to be getting things done during isolation. It's been keeping my mind active and busy. And yeah, I just really love the way that everything pops now, especially with the skirtings. It's like a really in thing at the minute, isn't it? To have like different colored doors and skirtings and frames. And I think the kitchen is the perfect place that you can try that out because especially in my kitchen, it's really, really plain and standard. I've got quite a classic kitchen and we've done it so on the cheap. So we had it all white and we didn't get like the most expensive kitchen. It was the cheapest kitchen I actually had in B&Q. And I just wanted that country style, but just adding them pops of pink and green has just really made it feel like oldie worldy. <laughs> I really love it. If you, if you haven't noticed, I really love it. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. I do apologise that the shelves aren't here, the blind isn't here, doormat isn't here, and neither is the bread bin. Um, but I'm waiting on next, and yes, sir, yes, I'm not. I'm not pregnant, I'm like rubbing my bellies because I've had a lot of pasta. Don't start thinking I'm like secretly hiding a baby in there. This is like isolation belly. <laughs>
genuinely is as well. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and give it a thumbs up if you like it. Thank you for all the lovely comments as well, guys. Honestly, it's just amazing. I never, I never really get used to how many people say so many lovely things. But hopefully you've enjoyed this video. And guys, I've got a few hauls coming up this week, so I'm really, really excited. Have a lovely rest of your day. Take care. I've been Rosie Henshaw. Bye.